What's up? What's good? I'm Jordan. I appreciate you watching so much. Um, today's like a perfect day for me to film a meal prep video because I'm kind of like getting back on track. I feel like I say that in so many videos, but I just try to be really like transparent with you guys. Sometimes I am so on it with my working out and eating right, and then certain times I just kind of fall off track a little bit. Um, I've been eating like some fast food and stuff recently with my son and not really sticking to my macros very closely, and I can definitely feel a difference in my body. So I love just having those days where I need to just recharge, write down all my goals, realize again like why I'm doing this and why I want to be healthy long term and really implement those changes. And I know so many of you originally found my channel from weight loss videos or maybe like a meal prep video and you're on your own fitness and weight loss journey. And it's always inspiring to see for me, like on other channels, I love seeing what other people eat and you know, what workouts they do and stuff. So I recorded a little bit of my workout this morning. So I will insert that footage. Um, also I want to show you guys a bunch of Adidas and Nike sports bras that I recently got that were extremely affordable. I had a little issue. Uh, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I recently did a huge closet like declutter and I went to the Salvation Army by my house or the Goodwill to like donate a bunch of stuff and I accidentally donated a bunch of activewear that I wasn't supposed to. I had everything in a bag in my trunk and I was going to do a legging showdown for you guys like reviewing uh, different like leggings and sports bras and when I got there everything was in the same colored they were all just like in big bags and I donated that whole bag so I am missing a bunch of leggings and sports bras now so I recently made an order and had to order a bunch of new stuff because that was totally an accident I wasn't supposed to donate any of that so alright so I wanted to show you guys everything I picked up this is the packaging here I can always appreciate like super cute packaging um, I just picked up a few workout shirts and then also sports bras everything's from thread up if you guys have been on my channel a while I have ordered from them now probably like eight times. Um, they sent me over a care package like months and months ago, but I've continued to be a customer because their brand is just incredible and like what their mission is. Also, if you're new, I always recommend super affordable things on my channel so anyone watching can then go purchase or like get the look that I'm talking about without like breaking the bank. I'm all about saving money. I actually got Christian a super cute new outfit for school. It was an Adidas track suit, like a zip up, a red. I'll put like a little picture. Um, and usually it was like 40 or 45 bucks for the Adidas jacket and then like 30 bucks separately for the pants I found that whole suit for him on thread up and it was like 10 or 12 bucks for each piece it's incredible so they're the largest online website for super lightly used clothing and they also have tons of new items so certain times like I've made orders from them and I've thought the stuff that I would be getting in the mail had been used and it still had tags on it so a lot of the stuff on their site is still new which is really cool um, today I'm showing you guys a bunch of like sports bras and stuff that I got but they have regular clothes so they have like regular women's men's children's clothes a lot of Christian's clothes for back to school I got from thread up um, I got my mom hooked on it like it's a million percent legit their thing is that they have really high-end brands like Adidas um, Nike Lululemon I got like a Nike pro bra this time and I think this was ten dollars and this is literally like 35 bucks in the Nike store so yeah they have really like high-end brand stuff so if you're like me and you like lululemon and stuff like that but it's just too pricey for you always check thread up they are constantly coming out with like new designs and stuff and their goal is to get you guys everything at really affordable rates so i've always had a 40 percent off coupon i'll leave it in the description so anything you browse on the site you'll get an additional 40 percent off i'll show you guys what i picked up today so the first thing was this um, sports bra from Old Navy. I've actually tried Old Navy leggings, but never the bras. So I'm excited to try this out. I got it in a large. I also got this Adidas bra. Both of these I got in a size large. I believe this one was like eight bucks, which is really, really good. I'm most excited about this Nike Pro one. So this one also has a really cute, a little bit of a different back with the opening right there. So like this is Lululemon. So they really do have really high-end brands on there. I believe in the Lulu store, this would run maybe about 55 bucks. I believe I want, want to say it. I'll list the price on the screen, but I probably got it for like under 30 bucks. The discounts on there truly are really great. I love that this one has like bigger cups because I think this is going to be really supportive. I got three workout shirts. So the first one is Nike. Again, pretty much everything I chose was like brand name, but super cheap. So I got this Nike tank. Love this color. It's just a regular racer back. Very thin, like very flowy. This will be really good for cardio because... <laughs> We know I sweat a lot. Also got this one. It's a really basic Adidas tank. And then I also got this blue. Ooh, 
This is a gorgeous color. And this actually has a little bit more of a built-in like thickness around the bra area to really hold up your chest. This is just a Nike Pro tank top. So I believe I got this one. Yeah, this one in a large. Excited to wear that. Definitely check out ThreadUp if you guys need not only workout clothes, but clothing maybe for your kids or for yourself. Everything is severely discounted, and I will have that additional discount in the description box. So let's go ahead and shoot into the clips of the workout I did this morning. I know a lot of you have been wanting more like dedicated workout footage on my channel and in like fitness videos, so this is the perfect video to pop it in. I couldn't record every single exercise this morning just because they're pretty chill about filming at my at this current gym. Um, but certain things, like I believe I started with um, like cable pulls for your back and your rear delts. There's nowhere for me to set up my tripod like on that machine to record that. So I didn't really get that in focus. I think I, I did record though about five or six exercises for you guys. I pretty much just did like a full body and then a hit workout just to get really sweaty because it had been a few days since I've been in the gym. So I just wanted something to really get my heart rate up. I think I was in there a total of like 45 minutes. So we'll shoot into that and then I'll meet you guys back in the kitchen for the meal prep. All right, you guys, just wanted to walk you through my workout really quick. So I did start off with 10 minutes on level three on the Stairmaster. I always just do some type of light cardio to get my heart rate going. Then I did do those um, cable pull throughs, which I couldn't record on that side of the gym. I, there's nowhere to put my tripod. So I kind of skipped to this clip for you guys. Um, I absolutely love doing hip thrusts and glute kickbacks to really work the glutes. I've also found when you do these with weights on your ankles, they absolutely kill. So I was doing here about 10 to 12 on each leg and then I would take a break and I would do three sets of that. So I'm only showing you guys, you know, one set for the sake of time, but it takes a pretty good amount of time when you do three sets of everything and your glutes will be on fire. Here I was doing some planks and I decided to add in 10 pound dumbbells to do a raised plank and then a rear delt pull, I believe. These are so much harder than they look. I know I seem like I'm like wobbling a little bit, but they kill you guys. Then I was just doing these like plank up downs, which really, really work your core. Again, they hurt so much worse than they look. And then I held a plank here for 45 seconds to a minute. Then I just used those same 10 pound dumbbells and I was just doing some lying chest press. I really never work chest, um, but I don't know. I figured I would throw in a few today just because I literally never do it. I also did a few flies. And then um, I was just using the squat bar here. It's 45 pounds to do reverse lunges. I was doing five to six on each leg and then on a few of them I would lunge back as you see here and then raise my knee up. That just gives it an extra little push and it absolutely burns. Plus doing regular lunges is already hard so when you add in putting a 45 pound bar on your back, trust me, it really, really kills. My legs were like screaming this next morning. So I did three sets of that and then here I was just doing some straight leg deadlifts and then into overhead press. So I was doing kind of a superset. Um, deadlift, drop down there and do overhead press. Or I'm sorry, deadlift, clean, and then lift it up. My camera died here at the end, but I did three sets of that. And again, it doesn't look too hard, but it really hurts. All right, you guys, let's get started on the first meal prep recipe. This is completely vegetarian and honestly so easy to do. So I was basically just cooking up some pasta. You can do anything that you like. I just did the tri-color rotini, I think it's called. Uh, my son absolutely loves this as well. It's very fast to make and it tastes amazing. I've never actually made this recipe on my channel. So you basically just wanna cook your pasta, literally takes like five minutes, or you can do spaghetti or whatever you like. I put it in a huge bowl to just mix everything together. So this is gonna be a cold pasta salad. So while the pasta is cooling down, you basically just want to chop up any toppings that you want. I like to do a little bit of cheese. You could also do vegan cheese. Um, tons of vegetables on top. Right there, I was just cutting up some bell peppers, um, a little bit of orange and yellow bell peppers. I'm doing a few little cheddar cheese squares here because my son really likes that as well. Then we did some olives. I believe I also ended up adding some tomato and some avocado. This salad is super customizable, so anything you or your family like, you can literally put on top. Um, I am gonna show you some dressings and stuff at the end as well. Just don't put those on until you're pretty much ready to eat the pasta salad because you don't want anything to get soggy or go bad. But you are able to put the tomatoes and everything in um, right now. And I this stayed good for about three to four days. So you just pop all your toppings on there, mix everything around. Um, I think I'll show you guys here in a second. I ended up doing half an avocado, just cutting it into little squares and putting that on top as well. Yep, and... Dun, dun, dun. What was I doing next? Really nothing fancy here guys, just mixing it up. 
Um, I did, I cooked two cups of pasta and this ended up being four servings. So this will last about three days because I'll give some to my son. He eats really small portions and then I'll have some as well. Ended up dumping in some full olives right there because I had a few extra. I put some avocado on top. Honestly, the taste was so good. I wanted to show you what you could do here for dressings. The Creamy Caesar Bolt House and the Walden Farms, I would put on only when you're right about to eat it. The avocado oil mayo from Primal Kitchen is from Thrive Market. It's absolutely bomb as well. And I just did a few sprays of the zero calorie butter spray just to add a little bit of flavor. And then literally all you're gonna do is portion it out for how much you want to eat. So since I am counting macros, um, I knew that I was cooking two cups of pasta and I wanted to portion this out into four equal portions. So I actually had this for lunch today. It's really good. It's surprisingly extremely quick to make and I was really like surprised that my son liked it because it's kind of a struggle getting Christian to eat veggies. So I'll definitely be making this more now that I know that he loves it. So I just put those in these little Glade Tupperwares and we're good to go, super easy. So meal number two, again, I did not want to include any meat, so this is also vegetarian. I tried out this Light Life Smart Ground Crumbles. Let me know if you guys have tried this and how to season it and how you like eating it, because this was my first time. I know this looks kind of gross, but I did have my fingers, or my hands completely clean and washed. I was just breaking it up into little crumbles, because that's what they suggest on the package. So you cook that for 10 minutes. For one of my sides, I was doing a quarter cup of rice. I just used the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. You literally put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. It's so easy. And then you just choose any vegetable that you would like on the side. You can do frozen or fresh. I chose to do these steam fresh bags because I realized I had these in the microwave and hadn't used them for like a month. So I wanted to get use out of them. So the Ready Rice, um, you cook it for 90 seconds and it ends up with two cups. So I basically ended up doing half a cup of rice in each meal prep container. So then if I count my 